Now, here's how you save your document as a PDF and have it ready for print. Once you have your design finished, you go up to share and then you go to download and then you want to make sure that under file type, it's under PDF print. If you're going to print it out, if not, you could just use PDF standard. So when you click on PDF print, if you want crop marks, you can check that. If you need to flatten the PDF, you can check that. If you want to include notes, you can click that also. And then make sure that all pages is selected. Now under color profile, there's going to be two options. There's going to be RGB for digital use. And there's going to be a premium option called CMYK. And it says best for professional printing. It probably will affect your colors a little bit if you don't have the CMYK. But in my experience, I found that RGB still looks looks great. So I just go ahead and hit download. And then it's going to download. And it's going to ask you where you want to save it. You can save it to your desktop or wherever you like. And then you can go right to it, the file by clicking show and file explorer. Or I guess if you have a Mac, it'll say show and finder. And then you just double click on it to check it. Now, if you if you select it to show the crop marks and bleed canvas, Canva will add a quarter inch to your document all the way around. Even on even it even expanded the photo too. it'll have eight black lines showing you exactly where you should cut to keep your document looking how it should look. Now, if you don't need it for print, you would go to share and you will go to download and you will go to PDF standard and now PDF standard doesn't, as you can see, it doesn't have the bleed option, but as the option to flatten the PDF, which you might want to do if you don't want anybody to edit anything to it. But if that doesn't matter to you, then you can just go ahead and leave these blank. And you can go ahead and make sure that all your pages are selected and then hit download. The file is going to download like before. It's going to ask you where you want to save it. Hit save. Then it's going to show in your file explorer. Double click on it. And then it's, it should look exactly how your document looked without the without the bleed marks see it's that easy